All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This video is gonna be a short introduction to chord tones. Um, if you don't know what a chord tone is, it's just the notes of a chord. So if we have a C major, we have three chord tones, C, E, and G. C, E, G. Right? Then we can learn these all over the fretboard. Okay, and we're already kind of doing this with our inversions. So we're gonna learn them all over the neck and then we can use them to play solos with, to play melodies with, right? So if we have, like for this example right here, we're gonna use the chord C and B flat major. Now I'm gonna play the chord tones of C and then the chord tones of B flat major. So here's the chord progression. Now I'm gonna play the chord tones, but not actual chords. Even though I wasn't playing chords, you could clearly hear the progression, right? And that's what we're going for. It makes your solos just sound better, more deliberate, tasteful. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but this is just a tool in your dis at your disposal, a tool in your toolbox, okay? You don't have to play the chord tones at all, but I have a feeling once you learn them and you start using them, you're gonna want to. And honestly, if you play a solo, solo you like, and you look underneath the hood at that solo, you're probably gonna find a lot more chord, chord tones than you'd think. Or maybe as many as you'd think, I don't know what you think. But, um, so going on from there, once we know the chord tones of our chord progression, then we can mix scales with them. So I'm gonna take that same progression. And I'm gonna play the chord tones. And then I'm gonna mix C mixolydian with it. We haven't talked about that yet, but I'm just gonna give you, show you that for effect. So check this out. So they mix really nicely. Um, yeah, and so you can do that with any chord progression. You find the chord tones, we find the chords, then you find the chord tones of those chords and learn them, right? And then you find the scale you're gonna mix them with. So, very simple idea, right? But um, it's something that's gonna take time. First, you gotta get these in your hands. And like I said, we've already started doing that with the inversions, but you gotta get these in your hands, practice them, and then also practice the scale and then practice them together. So um, there's a lot of work for you to do. Not work, but fun to be had. Um, fretboard to explore. So um, yeah, this is just the intro lesson. So I just wanted to kind of show you why they're cool and we'll talk about what they are. And the next ones, we're gonna actually get into some chord types and I'm gonna show you how to play them on the fretboard and I'm gonna give you some diagrams. So um, hope you're ready. I will see you in the next lesson.